An international maritime court has told Russia to free 30 people held after a Greenpeace protest in the Arctic and hand back their ship. Moscow said it would study the ruling, but that the Hamburg-based Tribunal for the Law of the Sea had no jurisdiction over the case. Greenpeace welcomed the verdict but denounced the situation. It's sad because it means that our activists have spent uh, more than two months in prison for a crime that they didn't commit. But the world must remind themselves that this action that they took, this peaceful, courageous action that they took, was not in their self-interest. In fact, nearly all of the Greenpeace activists have just been freed on bail by Russia, including Peter Wilcox, pretty good right now. the ship's American captain. But it's unclear whether they'll be allowed to leave the country with a trial for hooliganism pending. And those released from at least 16 countries will be thinking of fellow detainee Australian Colin Russell, whose custody's been extended until February next year. The 30 arrested in September's Greenpeace protest in which activists try to scale a Russian oil rig in the Arctic could be jailed for up to seven years if convicted.